you have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. (sighs) Love you, Gabe. What the hell am I going to do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are going to do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Not to be a single-issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. Long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Jed acts like he's in charge but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Poor Amelia.
I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Jed's such a liar. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually, Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right, let's hear this infamous song. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that, thanks. Trust me, you're not alone. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, 
We have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. (laughs) That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. (laughs) Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. (laughs) Okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. (sighs) Let's go with Brian. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Brian is a good choice. This, Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex? I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac. But let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. (laughs) Really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. 
I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Do you have um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay?
All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Okay, time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Diane? Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. <laughs> so, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. 
and don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses.
Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. A dire rat joined your party. Wow, Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. We're one step closer now. housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold, like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead... I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. 
I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. Ugh, you need a lot of help, don't you? Okay, let me grab my hat. Huh, there it is. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. I think I know where you go. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. This feather separates the buskers from the bards. Okay, I better find Ethan right away. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. 
Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. <laughs> 